A trademark of a visionary is seeing something before anybody else sees it. And His Highness has been able to capture where he wanted Dubai to be uh, by 2015. And it took everybody, including the, the business leaders of Dubai, to actually understand and comprehend the, 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 the depth of his vision. And seeing it implemented in one lifetime is, is a massive achievement. And business and entrepreneurship has been, uh, you know, uh, uh, a family trait uh, for generations. My, my grandmother was started actually uh, doing business at a very young age and then she started selling rice and started uh, buying real estate and developing it and now she's one of the most successful businesswomen in in the country and uh, it's something to, that I could say with very pride and 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 she's very very sharp and uh, a smart businesswoman and this shows an appreciation of both sexes in our in our country where the ma uh, the man and the woman are are equal and you know if my grandmother was a successful businesswoman 100 years ago not a lot of countries in the world can say they were successful businesswomen at the same time well it's a huge honor but it's also uh, a very big yardstick to measure to when when you know when your 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 uncle has achieved so much you ask yourself what have i done and it actually pushes you on forward and when you achieve success in life, it's surreal. You, 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 it doesn't sink in, and it never does. Because people see themselves as when they first started in business. You start small and you grow uh, over time. But I think the mark of a successful businessman is someone who still sees himself as that young, struggling person who has to wake up at 7 a.m. and continue working till 7 p.m. And that's the differentiator between a true entrepreneur and a successor than someone who's just a businessman. If to do business and to succeed, you have to be obsessed with what you do. Well, Alfajr Properties started in 1965 on the vision of my father to increase the growth in Dubai, bring the newest ideas from around the world and make it available. At that time, not everything was available in Dubai. Uh, he opened the first department store in the country and uh, started with a contracting company, then went to an electromechanical company and just kept growing. He used to tell me whenever I start a business and it starts succeeding, I look to start another company. And by the time I look back at the other company, it's doing better than the company I just started. So he just kept uh, building new, new and, and more and more companies. And really has, uh, you know, he, he's very passionate about Dubai and he believes in Dubai and he pushes uh, uh, the direction forward and, and has blind faith in Dubai.